Hi everybody, we are live here today with Diane Lapis of the Beacon Historical Society. I hope you can hear me. We're in Beacon Bath and Bubble right now. You can see the background. Hey New York Heart and Soul. Hey Junior, they're all joining in. We want to know if you're at home super cold. We braced, we put all of our hats and coats on and we're out here. Tell us Diane, how did it go? How is it going tonight? It's still going on. Oh, it's really great. We are partnering with uh, our first local business Brenda Murnane Mer uh, of Beacon Bath and Bubble, and we are, she was kindly kind enough to allow us to hang materials from our the archives of the Beacon Historical Society of the East End of Main Street, and we have a huge crowd tonight um, enjoying the exhibit and light refreshments. I'll show everyone what you're talking. Oh, you're getting so far. So Beacon Bath and Bubble, guys. Way back to Diane. And we're also, um, one of our goals is to raise money for an, our new home. We are presently located at the Howland Cultural Center, and we're overflowing with um, wonderful materials from the history of our, our wonderful city of Beacon. What so, kind uh, of materials? Well, we have everything from posters, I'm uh, sorry, photographs, postcards, yes. letters from letters. prominent citizens. We have ephemera. Letters from like a, like a hundred years ago, do you Or even you more than that, yeah. We have things from the 1700s. We have maps and glass bottles. Anything that to do with the history of our town. So anything to do with the history of how Beacon changes with every decade, probably. Yes, that's correct. So if you move to Beacon, yep. you probably are living in a home that's a hundred years old. You might want to come to the Historical Society to get information about the prior owners. Um, a lot of local businesses come to our Historical Society, for example, the Nelsinga Hotel has just been bought by local people. Yes, that and hotel so they're going to come to our Historical Society to see what our archives are to learn more about the history of the hotel. Excellent, because they're really into preserving that history there. That's that correct. Hotel. That's amazing. So right now, where can people find you as you're fundraising for okay. a new permanent physical space? Right. Well, you can join us on our Facebook page, Beacon Historical Society. Beacon, okay. The Facebook page, Beacon Historical Society. As well as our website, beaconhistorical.org. Beaconhistorical.org. Okay. And, and we're open questions. at the Howland Cultural Center on Thursdays from 10 to 12. Okay. And Saturdays from 1 to 3. Okay, wonderful. And we have a question from the audience. They want to know where do you get the photos and where do you get all of your material? Um, they're actually from donations. Um, you know, as people... Like from um, oh, yeah, people pass away. Uh, we do buy some things on eBay sometimes if things come available. Okay. Uh, mostly from donations from local people. Sure. All right. Great question, everyone. Thank you, you guys. We'll spin around with the ones behind you. Do you recall where the, the hotel picture came from? Or? Uh, this is an actual postcard. That's a postcard. That was blown up. Yeah. Okay. So that's a postcard, you guys, that was blown up. Um, so if you haven't already, you can come out of your houses tonight. Come down here to the fundraiser. We're here till 9 o'clock tonight for the Beacon Historical Society. How can we support the Beacon Historical Society? You'll come right now to the fundraiser, but if you want to click, is there any way people can click and donate somehow? Yes, they can go onto our website, yep. Beacon, uh, beaconhistorical.org. Okay, go and to they can, uh, we have a PayPal for members. Oh, wonderful. We meet the fourth Tuesday of the month at okay. the Highland Cultural Center. Okay. We do presentations about the history of Beacon. Okay, so go to beaconhistorical.org. And you will see a PayPal link there to donate. You can click there. And they also meet on the fourth, fourth Tuesday of every month. Fourth Tuesday of every month. And if you become a member, you'll get a newsletter every month about the history oh, of Beacon. Oh, and become a member because then you're going to get a, a new a, a newsletter about the history of Beacon. How often? Every month. Twelve every months month. a year. You're going to get that. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Right, I know you got to get back to okay. your fundraising, and we'll talk to you later. Share this with your friends, everybody. If you're listening right now, just swipe to the right and share it. Bye. Thanks. This has been a little Beacon blog. Thanks. Bye.